Hello guys, Tabs here, and I'm back, and uh, I'm bringing you guys a Calfire Queen guide. You can do this with as many people as you want, but um, we personally do it as a duo slash trio. So I'll be showing you that kind of setup and how how to go about it and what kind of gear to use and how you get there and what you should take. Okay guys, now as far as gear setups go, um, for this method you will need full Varax, that so that requires 70 attack, strength and defense to equip. Um, my current stats are only 70, 72, 70 and we still manage to kill this, we get about one kill per trip so um, it's definitely doable with these stats and I would recommend 70 plus but if you do, if you don't, well no, if you don't feel comfortable killing with lower stats then yeah I'd recommend probably about, about 80 strength and 70 attack and defense and you should be absolutely fine. But uh, as far as invent setup goes you'll want one super set one super anti-poison, three prayer pots, um, a rope each, um, a teleport owl and a shanty pass and the rest of it is just sharks as you can see and a special weapon. Now this is a setup I take, this is my, like this is a setup I take for every trip that we do and uh, it works out pretty well, I mean you could swap out a pea pot if you're, if you're doing um, trio, only take two pea pots uh, and you'll be absolutely fine but um, for duos definitely take three. Okay guys, so as you can see on the map, um, this is an overview of Alcarid and the desert. So basically where you want to go before you um, do anything, you want to head to the Shanty Pass, which is located right here in the south end of Alcarid. There's a bank here so you can get all your supplies and then gear up there every time after a trip. And uh, basically to get to the Calphite Lair from here, you use your Shanty Pass, you go through the gate, and you head straight west all the way over to this marker right here. And um, when you get there, you use a rope on the lair, and I'll show you guys um, how to do that and where to go once you're inside. Okay guys, so as you can see on the screen, this is the map of the Calphite lair. Um, where you will be starting is at the entrance, as you can see, the little red dot, and you want to walk all the way around until where the other red dot is, um, which is on the right hand side of the screen in the far east of the, uh, the lair. Now, in between there will be some level 80 Calphites, they will poison you if they, well, if they get the chance they will poison you, hence the anti-poison, so if they do, just try to quickly run away from them to avoid as much damage as possible, and um, get to the entrance, and uh, once you're in there, you can uh, go to hell on Calphite Queen. Okay guys, I hope I haven't missed anything so far, but we are going to show you a kill of our own from me and Tom. Um, basically in this kill you'll see how we position ourselves and stuff like that, how to get like, well how to take them like, the least damage as possible and how to deal as much damage as possible. Um, I will be talking over it so I will give you guys some guidance, guidance on what is actually going on. And uh, yeah, so moving on guys, I will show you the clip now. Okay guys, so as you can see we just went through the pass. Uh, I will try to keep up with the speed of the clip, it's going 1.5 times so it is a little bit ahead of me what I'm trying to do here if you know what I mean. <laughs> so we run all the way west after we leave the uh, the shanty pass and you find a tunnel entrance. You use the rope on here, this rope will work for both of you. So I, as you can see in here, I roped the first tunnel and further on in the lair, Tom, uh, who was my partner in the video, will rope the second one. Now what you want to do at this point in time guys, you want to walk through this tunnel. You don't want to waste a run, you will need it, like as you, I'll explain in a second, like once we get around this corner because there's they're slightly higher calphites and they're level 86 and these ones do poison you so it can be quite annoying you'll see it happen to me in a minute and basically what you want to do just to avoid any unnecessary damage you just want to run a step ahead of them so they're out of range of you uh, as you'll see what I do like right here you want to just do that get out of range of them as, as much as possible you know you don't want them hitting you for unnecessary damage as you'll see now I got poisoned as well which is annoying but that's what the anti-poison is for if you guys didn't know now as you can see we're approaching the last corner and basically my friend Tom will use the rope uh, you want to pot up here as well and uh, as you can see in a minute you'll see me put my prayers on as well you do want to put your prayers on and it is vital you use your special weapon on the first phase of Calphite Queen not the second and because it, I'll explain in a second the first phase she protects from melee, uh, not melee, mage and range as you'll see above her head now you want to get out all your special attacks on this phase because she's not protecting melee and um, you want to stand, if you if you notice we're standing in a 180 degree line kind of or as close to, basically what this does it makes the Calphite Queen spin more and basically it, it takes the overall damage down slightly 
Um, it's a little trick that people use for years. 100% works. I can, like, look, 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 as you can see, we're trying to move into position here. There you go, in perfect position, 180 degrees. And basically, the Calvo Queen spins a crap load. Now, we've, we're just about to hit phase two, as you can see. Um, any second, right, she'll do like a little animation thing. Um, and then she'll basically change into the next form. And now she's protecting melee. Now, this is why you need Varax, so you can hit through her prayer, as that's a Varax special if you're wearing the full set. Has a random proc to hit through, if you know what I mean. And basically, this is as simple as it the kill gets, guys. I, I can't explain it anymore. This is what you do. Keep your prayer up. Do not let your prayer drop. You want to keep protect Mage on, protect the item, and your best prayer as possible to output as much damage as possible in a short time because she will kill you first if you don't do enough damage. So, as you can see, we're just here, tanking away, 180 degree line, that's vital, remember that, and you just kill her. It's as simple as that, guys. Now, I hope you like the guide, um, I hope it does help you guys, um, I wish you good luck on any loot if you guys are, are doing this, but uh, until next time, guys, I will see you on the next video.